The Steelers' 5-1 win in the Challenge Cup quarter-final first leg in Manchester means the job is almost done. Storm have lost their last 21 straight in Sheffield and they don't just have to win tonight, they have to win by five or more. No elite league team has ever overturned a deficit like this on the road. New signing on a two-way deal with the Hull Seahawks, Finley Ulrich makes his debut, Scott Allen returns, Marco Valoran makes way. But will reach Ulrich. Vinell, this little bounce pass and helped on its way and now the Steelers will enter the zone. Shudra feeds it across, it's just out of the reach of Ulrich. Vinell towards goal, tip from Shudra! He enjoyed that one. The crucial touch just in front of Oldale. Yeah, I'll have a look at it here. Vinell does a good job, he pays the price to be fair as well, he takes a shot and gets leveled as he comes through, stays with it. Maybe see a little backhand tip to the short side. Back against the grain as Alex Oldale sliding to the right, Shudra gets it on the backhand after good little opportunity back up the ice it ended up being a three on one for Steelers to uh, to get them going that way their last game a couple of power moves the guys are trying to bring it back around and go upstairs but Holdale finds that one from the blue line as well pretty well Balmas to Nichols into the slot and the sticks getting Dowd's way Storm's defensive coverage closing in in time Nichols down low looking for the backdoor play Balmas finishes it off and it was Ciampini drawing into the space that set up almost an empty goal. Yeah, good to see Sasserman back out on the ice to do this, but that was a pop-up play that I just said that would be nice to see Simpson. And there's the back door. Holdale doesn't have an opportunity to uh, to make this. And, you know, Sullivan, he can't get across. He's trying to take the guy in the bumper position. The top forward can't get there as uh, Balmas just slides down. And good to see him get on the score sheet. Needs to get one, uh, get himself going a little bit. There's a bump as he pops out, and then Alex Oldell, there's not much you can do. Steelers into the offensive zone. Looking for another power play goal here. Nichols. Goes back to Sorcerman. Balmas thought about the one timer, but then his route to goal was blocked. Just tried to change the angle. Now Nichols. Balmas, he's got another. Two power plays, two for Mitchell Balmas. I have to have a little look at this from behind the net. I don't know if, uh, if Oldell's a bit screened, if it touches there, but it just flashes right by the glove. You can see by the reaction that maybe the defenseman who went down, I couldn't see who it was that went down trying to block it, whether it touches him or not. Maybe just changes direction a little bit, but Balmas. Good hard little wrist shot that comes through. We'll see it right here. I think it does just pop off the back of the jersey. It's Corneal that provided the redirect. Moreau fancies another go, and that one was absolutely crushed. Moreau fast enough with that blocker. Stop having a good little spell, and it's all Moreau. That one's deflected away. It came off Usula, broke his stick in the process, though. Manchester finding it hard to get the puck at, to the net. They're getting it at the net, but not through Newman the Newman intercepts, and Watling's through the middle, and he's onside. Watling spins around, back to Newman, and the save made by Oldale. This combination of Watling and Newman is in really good form right now. Yeah, pretty frightening speed, the two of them when they're coming at you. But Watling does a good job, holds it up for him. Newman gets back to it. Brings it back and Oldell's it there. Look, he's trying to close it. He does a great job keeping everything nice and tight and compact. Doesn't give an awful lot up as he slides through nice and square. Usula. Carried it an awfully long way. He gets it to Watling. And Cormier didn't get as much on the shot as he might have wanted. The follow-up shot was not far away either. Oh, and then the little stumble, and that's going to lead to a storm breakaway. What an opportunity. And Marone makes the save on Merchant. Danger not over. Marone again and again. The saves to deny Merchant and Johnson and Harrison. It certainly was on for Kevin Tanzi. Erhart, block a save. 
Ulrich gets his stick to it. Shudra fights for body position and does well. And now Whistle with Vinell up in support. Whistle will shoot and score! It's another goal for this Steelers fourth line and for Brandon Whistle. Yeah, good hard work. We said that about a couple of feet inside the blue line. Shudra does a hard work to get it out. Whistle, nice little wrist shot. Nice up and over the elbow there. Alex Oldale, not much of an opportunity there, a chance there. Whistle gets those chances. He doesn't tend to miss an awful lot of them, to be fair. He's got a really accurate shot and a quick release there. You've just seen it. No back. Nothing. And you'll see it go by. You want to try to do it the best you can and be ready and prepared for as much as you can out there. Hard check, but that was from behind. And that'll Ooh. be a penalty. Yeah. And the Steelers are not going to settle for that. Garcia was the one who landed the hit. And he's getting some punches thrown his way. It's a bit of a wrestling match in the end. I think it's Tansy that come in. Not accepting the, uh, the check from Garcia. As you see right here. That is straight through the back. And usually, the, usually the, the, the player standing up doesn't quite take that much of a of a check at you. Will shout to you that you're coming. Newman, up to the top of the far circle, and Usula, Cormier, Watling, shot aiming for the top corner, missed it. Johnson couldn't get a stick to it, but Storm can here now, and they'll break through. And again, Marone comes to the Steelers' rescue. And a real frustration for Storm. And it's Merchant again. He's had two of He's these two, in this yeah. game. Marone sees him all the way. Watling doing a great job trying to get back, put a little bit of pressure on not to take a penalty. Just that back pressure, you see, just does enough. Yeah, Merchant... Going away from goal all the time. I don't think he's going to score too many putting it that high. <laughs> Nichols tips it up in the air, but not out of the zone. Storm trying to generate some offense. They've had their chances in this period. A couple of break opportunities. Backdoor tip. Oh, he's onto the outside of the goal. And the frustration is still there. Fantastic Mar play by Morrow. It was Martin that wasn't far away. Ulrich couldn't get onto it. Neither could Simpson. Earhart, put caught underneath his skates, Fryer keeps it in the zone, flicks it towards goal and the deflection is in, Marone is beaten, and the Storm have got themselves one, no great celebrations, but there'll be no shutout tonight. Fryer just turns and zips it at the net, and it looks like he gets a piece of that. Vanell is saying, is it a high stick? But Miller seems to say it's a goal right away. There's no review over it. Oh, little tumble there for Corneal. Ooh. And then the hit on Lee. Oh, and Lee's, oh, sorry, and Heinem is going after Vanell. That one doesn't last long. Yeah, Cornell just protecting the young one. As Vanell hit him pretty good up on the boards. As he come up with his head down a little bit. No harm, no foul, no different than, than Tanzi coming in and, and uh, taking exception to a, to a hit. Good to see that, that both teams have still got a little bit of intensity and want to uh, help each other out. Let's take a look then, we'll watch it in full speed. Keep your eye on Storm 7, check down there. Not the nicest pass. That was Diffley. Yeah, not the nicest pass that, uh, that Sorry, Einan gives <laughs> me, to be fair. Sorry, it was Vanell, beg your pardon with it. Hair flowing out the back of the helmet. Not giving up too many opportunities, some, some good defensive coverage. Again, little things that you can work on knowing that you've got league games coming up. Both teams wanting to do certain things. Balmas. Oh, that was there. In fact, they thought that was useless. My mistake. Here's Watling. Oh, that's a hammer. What a great way to finish it off. Another goal for Brett Newman, nine on the season. Another good hard shot, good pass again from Watling, getting across the scene. 
Master and Manchester forward there trying to get in the way, trying to block the shot. Very much like that hot in the first period to see if it. Older are just leaning a little bit left as that puck goes to the right and he can't catch up to it. Final few seconds will tick away. The Steelers are winners. They've won the second leg by the same score that they won the first leg. 5-1, 5-1, a 10-2 aggregate victory. The four seeds are out. The three seeds are out. The two seeds are out. The number one seed Steelers are through. And they will play Coventry over two legs for a place in the Challenge Cup final. Steelers' man of the match is Cole Shudra, the scorer of the opening goal. And he will get to do an Eddie. And he's got his teammates out to join him. We need an extra one. Well, not so much teammate as Reindeer. And Santa Shudra is all smiles. Aaron, congratulations through to the Thank Cup semi final. Um, talk us through that game because it was a difficult one in so many ways. I thought we came out and played, played really good off the bat. Um, I know we had a four goal lead, but momentum is everything. We don't want to. We don't want them to get the first one and feel like they had some life. So us getting up early, um, good to see our power play get two quick ones tonight. Our power play's been a little stale lately. And then they also got one in the third there too. Um, that Watling unit, which I don't think has, has scored a power play goal in quite some time. So it was nice to get them going. Good feeling before a huge game on Saturday. Um, you know, we wanted to make sure that we played the right way tonight, built momentum, um, not give them anything, which I thought we did. Tony played another really, really nice game early, made a couple of huge saves. Um, in the second period there, breakaway, couple, got the crowd going a, a little bit with a couple of huge saves there, and it was, it was a good effort. Yeah, um, Balmas' two goals quickly kind of put the game out of reach, didn't it? Yeah, two, two power play goals there, which was huge. Um, we moved him from the, the sticks in to the offhand on the, on the power play there, and Champ makes a great play on that first one, backdoor empty netter, and then that second one, um, we go through the seam and he snipes, he snipes one there. A game that could have had no emotion or no intensity, had a ton of intensity at times. Yeah, you know, they, they've got a couple guys that like to play a physical game. I, I thought it was really good to see Tansy uh, stick up for his teammate there after that hit from behind. And, um, you know, that's that's hockey. That's the way this business works. Nobody's ever going to give anyone else an inch there. And, um, like I said, I thought we stuck together as a, group, as a group and played real well. Guildford versus Glasgow, Sheffield versus Coventry. Your view on the, uh, on the Coventry uh, matchup? Yeah, I mean, I think that's eight in a row for Coventry. So they're playing, obviously, their best hockey of the year right now. Um, I know that these cup games aren't till I think, the end of January. So there's a, a, about a month in, in between games here right now. But we know we've got, I think we've got eight and 15 coming up the next just over two weeks. Um, so there's a ton of hockey. We'll put that on the back burner for right now and focus on on a huge one Saturday. With all the hockey that you have, does it affect your build-up like to Saturday? Do you give the guys an extra time off or do you bring them in? Yeah, we've, uh, we'll, we'll be in for a Friday skate. Tomorrow will be optional. We'll, anybody that's dinged up or nicked up should be in for some treatment. Um, and then we'll kind of go from there. Coach, it was always likely to be an uphill task for your team. How happy are you with the way they went about the challenge tonight? Yeah, like you said, it was, it was going to be a, an uphill battle for us going into the game. And the message was just to uh, take it one goal at a time, see what happens. I, I really didn't hate our game five on five. Um, obviously, gave up, I think, three power play goals, which is something we'll have to look at. Um, but outside of that, I thought we, we played OK. Guys battled. There was no quit. And that's all I asked tonight. Uh, play the right way going into it. Like, it's a, it's a tough kind of situation to come into um, against a really good team. And um, we, we didn't necessarily lose this uh, Challenge Cup tonight. It was that, that game one where we laid an egg at home. But like I said, guys played hard tonight. That was all I can ask and uh, came out of here hopefully unscathed and can uh, have a big couple games this weekend. I think after the first, so the final group game at Ice Sheffield, there were fans thinking it might be a similar game to that, but it was a lot feisty tonight. There was no question that your team was ever going to take a backward step. Yeah, no, that, that's what I said. Like, we want to play a certain way. And um, I mean, we've played Sheffield however many times now, and uh, there's 
always naturally going to be some some bad blood built up. But um, it was just one of those games where uh, some calls went maybe both ways that upset some guys. But um, I thought, like you said, we battled for the night, and um, it was good to get Alex Oldale in there. In other games, uh, we were able to get Wenny some rest here coming into a busy Christmas time. You were animated yourself on the bench, particularly during the second period. What was it that uh, sparked, the, uh, sparked that? Yeah, I, I just thought that play was a pro, um, basically the exact image of what an instigator penalty is. Um, a guy gets a penalty for the hit, which is fine, and then um, Tansy comes in, gloves off from the blue line in, and I mean, that's what an instigator is, so I was just kind of perplexed as to uh, why that wasn't called. You've played Sheffield six times now, but the next two meetings will be over New Year and in the league. What could be different about those from your perspective? Well, we just got to put these games in the past. Um, there's no, uh, there will be nothing new about them. We know what they're all about here, and um, obviously it's disappointing to be out of the Challenge Cup, but we just got to turn the page and set our sights on the league, which might be good in the long run here too. Um, like I said, we've seen them. It's a fresh slate, and hopefully uh, we can get the better of them next game.